Hello, Jaden here with another quick Uniview tutorial. Today I'm going to show you five settings that you should configure when you first set up your Uniview NVR. So moving on, uh, we're here in the settings of the Uniview NVR. The first setting you need to make sure you configure is the time. Time can be found under Setup, System, and Time. So go ahead and select your time zone, and then go ahead and check Auto Update. This should be set to on and for the ntp server address we will put pool.ntp.org this will ensure that your nvr as long as it's connected to the internet will continuously sync your time every 10 minutes and that's actually a good thing because what can happen is if your nvr is not connected um, to the internet for time the time can drift Next, make sure that you have Daylight Savings turned on. If you're in Canada, the Daylight Savings time will be set to these settings, March 2nd, Sunday 02, and November 1st, Sunday 02, with a 60 minute bias, which means that the time will change by one hour on these dates. Make sure that's set to on and click save. The second setting I wanna to touch upon is the schedule setting, recording schedule. So by default, your system will be set to record continuously 24 seven. For some applications, you may want to set the cameras to be on motion recording. That can be done through camera and schedule. Select your camera, click here for motion and drag it over. So you have all of the dates and times selected and click save. And if you want to apply this to all your cameras, you can choose copy at the bottom and click save. That will apply the setting to all your cameras. You can see that they're all green, which means they have motion schedule. If your camera has a microphone, you will want to select here, audio storage and save. Otherwise, you will not have the microphone recording when you go to the playback. The next setting I want to talk about is the motion detection setting for the actual camera itself. If you go over to camera and then motion, you can find the motion setting here. By default, Uniview puts their cameras on 99% motion sensitivity, which is good because you don't miss anything. But that actually means that you might have too much uh, events going on and it's not helpful. So usually I will take this uh, 99 motion and turn it down to about 60%. Um, so that just gives you a better you know, gauge on the motion. When there's a person walking by, you'll have motion. But if there's a tree blowing in the wind or a bit of rain, that's not necessarily going to be picked up at 60%. The fourth setting I want to talk about is called video compression. That can be found under the camera and encoding settings. So by default, you may see that the video compression of the camera is set to H.264. You want to go ahead and set this to H.265 and click save. The reason why is that H.265 gives you better compression for the same image quality, uh, which means that you can store more recording on the hard drive. So you'll actually have more footage. You can go back longer. And finally, the fifth setting I want to talk about is to make sure that your hard drive is recording and formatted. The NVR should do this automatically, but if not, you can go to hard disk, hard disk setting and make sure that the status is set to normal. If it's not normal, you will need to click format on your hard drive. One important thing to note is that formatting your hard drive will delete all the footage on it. So make sure this is something you want to do before you click format. There's one more setting I want to talk about, which is to make sure that your NVR is fully up to date. You can upgrade the firmware of your NVR under maintenance, maintenance, and then cloud upgrade. From the cloud upgrade menu, you can perform a upgrade for the NVR and IP cameras to make sure that they're updated for the latest firmware. Make sure you do this uh, at least the first time you set up the NVR and probably every six months to one year afterwards because Uniview does release updates that will add more features to the NVR and also make sure that your system is secure.